Oh, Alex, my son. This video is for you. I'm sitting outside a trailer in Prescott reading about um, electromagnetic spectrum, focal point, images. There's the textbook I'm reading. Let's see if I can get a good photo of it. Well, it's sensing. Over there, if you can see it, are my baked potatoes in the grill being smoked. There's a storm inbound above the truck and uh, the minivan I got. Thanks to my friend Jennifer. She didn't help me. She loaned me the money. She's Matt Wirtz's daughter. Matt, I'm sure, is probably part of the money she loaned me to get the van until I get the truck fixed. Sorry about that. I need a bag of popcorn. There's my drinks. My radio. I'm just hanging out here, reading uh, read four chapters, teaching two different classes, UAS sensing and UAS uh, history, laws and regulations, aviation law type class. We're close to finishing up the dissertation. Um, I'm hopeful the paper I submitted to the Institutional Re Review Board gets approved and I can send off the study. The study then uh, collects the data. Hopefully I can evaluate the data correctly. Excuse me. Evaluate that data and write chapters four and five of my dissertation. Sad time right now in the United States with a Hurricane Harvey hitting, hitting Texas, Houston, and uh, Corpus Christi and that whole area down there. Praying for the people down there. Um, quite interesting that General Honore, who was in charge of the recovery of uh, Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans, commented positively about how the people of Texas helped out the people of Louisiana and that the state of Louisiana, its citizens and people are willing and ready and actively helping out the people of Texas who are suffering from Hurricane Harvey, one of the biggest hurricanes that's going to hit this area. It's kind of late in the season, too, of the hurricane season. Um, so um, I've taught you to pray, taught you to read the Bible, have faith in Jesus, accept Jesus as your Savior, have faith in God. I know with your family, your mom and down there in Tucson and all, they don't go to church and all. But you can still have faith inside your heart. And uh, pray for those people. Pray for those less fortunate than us who actually really, really need to help. So do that. And I know I get on your case a lot about your religious growth, spiritual growth. I do get on your case about being a gentleman, being honest and true, walking your own path in life. Rely on nobody. When you turn 18, son, you better get the hell out of Tucson, Arizona. Turn 18, get out, walk your own path, make your own living, make your own money, make your own way of life. I've told you that many, many times, and I'll continue to tell that. Don't hang around and sit it and live in mom and dad's or mom and grandparents' house. That doesn't do you any good. It doesn't make you learn to fail and recover from it and become better. It doesn't make you learn how to live through a hurricane, a flood, a tornado, recover from it, and help your neighbors. It's not just enough that you should recover from a flood or you recover from a tornado or a hurricane. People do that all the time throughout the world, whether it be a tsunami, a volcano, an earthquake. But you got to help your neighbors. you got to help your family. Sweep your porch before you sweep somebody else's porch. Help your family, and then you help your neighbors. Take care of yourself, take care of your family, take care of your neighbors, and that's your community. That's what makes America great. That's America, and that's freedom. You can't do that sitting in mom's house. Or having the same problems you had in, when you were in eighth grade, having them as an adult and claiming that you got some type of disability or PTSD or whatever. You're going to be a man, be a gentleman, but take responsibility for yourself. So when you turn 18, which is less than 19 months away, I think it's like 17 months away, you get outside, buy yourself a truck, minivan, make your own way in life, buy your own self a house, piece of property. You got property in Pennsylvania. I'll reacquire property in Alabama soon. Build your own house. Build your own life. Find that one woman, that one lady that give birth to your children that you can grow old with for the rest of your life. You don't want to hang out with your mom. You don't hang out with me or your grandparents. You want to hang out with a woman who will give you children that you can love for the rest of your life. You can create, create a family that will last generations. Create, help create you with your mom. And you pay back our grandparents by doing the same thing. 
I love you. God bless. Hope you enjoy the weather where you're at. When you do look back at these videos when you're old, or when your girlfriend or your wife or your kids look back at these videos, because they'll last forever. That's why they're on YouTube. Um, you can have a good laugh. See your dad hanging out, reading textbooks, teaching college classes, taking college classes, working multiple jobs, still working on manned aircraft systems. We had a great day yesterday, flying drones. I had my students out flying on manned aircraft. You might see them on Facebook at the Yavapai College UAS website. Um, I didn't fly, I taught them and let them fly it. I showed them how to use filtering lenses and different products. As you grow with your robots, you do the same thing. I love you. God bless. Keep your prayers going. Keep reading the Bible. Take care of yourself. I love you, son.